Now let's get into the Apple situation. I didn't know this happened. You, I was on a flight early morning, and you called me saying, hey, you know, Apple got killed last night. Yeah, I called you because a lot of people called me up Sunday morning, and they were texting me, and they were like, yo, Apple got killed, you hear? And I was like, wow, you know, Apple got killed, and then, you know, I mean, he was out here for a long time on the streets after he left the witness protection program. He came after all of those bodies that he was linked to, uh, with the government, mm -hmm. that he he probably came on his own to come back to his neighborhood. And people always ask me, why did he come back to his neighborhood? Well, where else is he gonna go? Do you think he's gonna go and stay in Texas or Wyoming or Canada or somewhere? I mean, no, he's gonna come back to where his roots are. And I mean, nobody really bothered with him. But my theory is, and I'm only this is my theory in this case because, you know, I there was word that he was. He was shot while driving his vehicle up in Harlem, and uh, they shot at him several times. So uh, whoever shot him definitely wanted to kill him. Right. He was executed. But I believe that he was involved in something, uh, maybe maybe involved in drugs, because there were reports that, you know, there were things that were said that while up I was driving his car that there was something coming out of his car, of his window, like white powder or substances or packages or things like that. That was mentioned. Um, so, but I believe that since he's been around and doing what he did, uh, something definitely, definitely uh, happened that he might have been involved with recently because he was out here for so long that people could have got him a long time ago and they right. didn't. So it definitely, uh, uh, it was definitely planned or somebody definitely wanted to get him. So I don't think it was anything from his past. I just think that it happened and uh, whoever, whatever he was involved with, caught up with him. But don't you think it was, a only, it was only a matter of time, especially with somebody hit with, with his track record? Well, with, with a, a guy like him, again, with his track record, with all the victims and all the people that he was uh, said to have killed, uh, co uh, committed all those homicides back when he was running his organization, uh, it was inevitable, but I don't know if it's the retaliation because they could have got him a long time ago. Right. So I think it might have been something new that he did that uh, was probably problematic for him where uh, somebody waited for him and they got him, you know? Now, what uh, what, what were the calls with you got? Because I've heard, if, what, what, is he alive? Is he not? Is he in the hospital injured? Well, people were saying a lot of things. They were saying that he was injured and that the feds were cordoning off the whole floor so nobody could see him and at the hospital, at the hospital. <clears throat> because really, not, listen, when you're in a federal witness protection program and you get killed, of course, the feds are concerned because now they have to come out and investigate why you got killed. Was it mm -hmm. because of their your situation as far as the case is concerned or was it something else? So the feds were involved where they had to look into that. But from what I know, from what I'm told, he's he's deceased. Uh, I haven't heard anything about funeral arrangements, though. Have you? I have not. I haven't heard anything about funeral arrangements or anything like that. But a lot of people knew him. Listen, he did the movie. Uh, the, the, his the movie Paid in Full was based on his character back then. Uh, so he was sort of a person that was well known. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it was just I think he was involved in something where he might have got caught up in something that he wasn't able to handle, right. and it resulted in his death. Could it be a situation, I hate and I hate to sound like almost like a movie like, but can it be a situation where he maybe has survived and maybe he's into hiding and the feds just put him, help him hide? Is, it, is that something that's possible you could see happening or no? Well, it could it could be possible. It could be, but I mean, I like I said, I haven't heard about funeral arrangements. So um, maybe we should look into that to see about there's a funeral, if there's a, a body in a funeral home and see if that's something that's plausible, you know, right. plausible because... Like I said, I haven't heard about his funeral arrangements. I know he got killed, but <clears throat> usually you'll hear about, okay, his funeral, or you'll be hearing about, you know, the coverage, because the news did cover his his uh, murder, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna cover his burial. Right. So, um, but I haven't heard anything about it. So if, if we don't see a funeral or burial? Then I would question, I would say maybe something's up. <laughs> right, right, right. If we don't see a burial or funeral or burial, I would say something might be up, but uh, who knows? Who knows if he's involved in another organization? with several people and that's what I'm thinking he's involved in another drug organization you know what do you what do you think of um, if he does have a funeral and him his 
his catch his casket being driven around through Harlem. Do you think that that'll be upsetting? Do you think it will cause a rot? Yeah, that might cause some problems, but I don't think they would do that. I think it's well. His son was reportedly that he was afraid for his his life because I was his father. <clears throat> so I don't think they would. I don't think they would do that. I think they would just let people pay their respects and just bury him and call it a day. Because I don't think they want any more controversy, any more things come or would revive old memories of other people, you know, that were killed by him, or families of, of him, or victims that were killed. Now, um, any last words as far as the Alpo thing before we move on? No, Alpo's, uh, this case is pretty much case closed so far, unless something else new comes out of it. But I, actually, it's not closed in the sense of an investigation of why he got killed, but it's closed in the sense where he's deceased now, so his burial and, and people are going to move on from that. But I think there's more to finding out what happened in his death. Mm. That's definitely going to be out there. You ever met him or came across one? I saw him one time years ago, but I never really talked with Alpo like that. Mm -hmm. never, really, never really had that kind of... Let me ask you, know. you this. About, last thing about the Alpo thing. Being that he was uh, the individual that he was, you know, the criminal that he was, do the feds or local law enforcement care to even solve it? Or did you like, listen, we'll leave it alone? No, he's, it's still an open homicide, so I'm pretty sure the detectives up there working on it, they, you know, they, any homicide of anybody is, a, is an open case, so they have to work on it. Regardless, they're gonna work on it. So, I mean, and especially the way he got killed, so I'm definitely thinking that the feds are definitely involved already uh, to find out what happened. So there's a big investigation going on. Okay. You know? All right, last thing about that one. As far as he got shot, because people, I hate how people believe, think that they're experts when they look at a crime scene and see how the bullet holes, bullet holes, um, uh, were shot into a, a car when it when it, when it was a drive-by, you know. So people automatically, oh, it's a, it, it was a it was a uh, assassin. It was well planned uh, hit. Well, from what I know, I don't know. You can't really tell that from a drive-by. You can tell that if, if you get killed by a sniper from a rooftop a block away. That's professional to me. Is there well, the, the, the grouping of the shots right. showed you that it was somebody that intended to shooting him because right. the grouping was very tight and it was in the area where it either hit his head or his mass of his body. But the craziest thing was, and this is crazy, one of the guys told me over the uh, last weekend that the truck that he was driving, there's another guy uptown who had a truck just like that. Same exact model, same exact tires, every the same look. and Color? Same color, everything. And... He could have been mistaken for him because I think they were, might have been at the same party or they might have been at the same area at one time with the trucks. And that person was like, holy cow, holy shit, I could have got shot too because my truck looks exactly like his. Wow, that's interesting. I know, I that's that. very interesting. Somebody told me that. Wow. Now, any thoughts on Brian? I haven't seen the video personally, but I will when I, after, I get, after this. Brian Glaze Glibs goes out to the crime scene. So what has happened? <laughs> Now, what do you think of that video? Well, I looked at it, and I was like, wow, this guy's doing commentary? <laughs> you know, I mean, he's been, well, he's got a lot of skeletons in his closet. But, Literally. you know, he was uh, out there doing commentary on Apple's murder, so I was like, wow. You know, things have changed. You know, everybody's trying to be into the into network. I guess everybody's out here trying to be on TV, on YouTube to get famous. But, right. um, <clears throat> you know, when I saw that, I was like, wow. You know, so... I mean, he, he knows about murders himself, so <laughs> yeah. uh, he's been out there himself for a long time. So, but I'm not surprised about what happens today with anybody, to be honest with you, you know? You actually dealt with Brian Glaze Lives, huh? I dealt with him years ago, back in the uh, 80s, and what was, early 90s. And what was your experience with him? Well, with the team I was with, he was arrested by my partner back in those days for several murders himself. And um, how, what, what was your impression of him? Well, he was a, a drug kingpin himself. He was a drug lord himself back in those days. And uh, he operated out of Brooklyn, East New York. And, uh, you know, he committed a lot of uh, violent acts himself. So if anybody knows the streets, I mean, he knows the streets. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows, he knows the streets. You ever give you shit? No, I never had that kind of problem with him. And he probably doesn't even remember me <laughs> right, like that. Right. I remember him, you know? Because <laughs> right, right. right, I was on the team that took him down. <laughs> 